Hello and welcome to the 2020 Open Day presentation for the Bachelor of Criminology. I'm Dr Ian Warren, I'm a Senior Lecturer in Criminology, I've been a Deacon for about 15 years and I'm going to um, give you an overview of the structure of the Bachelor of Criminology course and give you some guidance on some of the uh, employability outcomes for our graduates. Before proceeding, I'd like to recognise the various traditional lands on which our campuses are located. I acknowledge the land, waterways and airways of the Kulin Nation and Gunjamara peoples, and the elders past, present and emerging of all the lands on which we work, study and live. And I pay respects to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. The Bachelor of Criminology is really designed for people who are keen to make a change in the world. And we do this through a twofold approach. The first is to understand the various causes of criminality, which spans a wide range of behaviours, uh, ranging from violent behaviour to online and cyber crime. Um, and in turn, by understanding the causes of those criminal behaviours, we can develop evidence based methods for preventing them. So it's this twofold process of understanding and developing targeted prevention methods that are really the focus of all of our units within the criminology degree. In this presentation, I'll give you an idea of the, the course details and the value of a Bachelor of Criminology from Deakin University. I'll also outline our work integrated learning and career development support initiatives, which are very unique to Deakin University. And I'll also describe some success stories and graduate employment options. At, a, at the present time when life is very uncertain, Deakin prides itself on its ability for promoting high quality distance education and online learning. All of our teaching staff have been trained in online teaching methods, and we show a strong degree of empathy with our students, particularly during times of lockdown and so forth. So I'd like to reassure you that Deakin University is a very good choice because of our dedication to, to high quality online learning, which understands the student experience and student needs. Now, the Bachelor of Criminology covers a wide range of areas, including policing, security, surveillance, crime in the media, crime victims, terrorism and counterterrorism initiatives, crime prevention, and criminal justice administration. And you can study as a Bachelor of Criminology, or you can pick criminology electives or a criminology major as part of our Bachelor of Arts. And again, one of the advantages of a Deakin University degree is its flexibility. So you have the flexibility to study full time or part time, and you also have the flexibility to study um, face to face when time permits and also by distance education. Now, as part of the Bachelor of Criminology, you must do a total of 24 credit points. 12 of those credit points are dedicated criminology units and six of those units are compulsory. And within those 12 units, you can study crime in the media, international criminal justice, crime prevention, criminology research methods, various surveillance units, crime, terrorism and security, and victimology. So they're part of the 12 credit points of criminology units that, that you need to study within a Bachelor of Criminology. In addition to that, you can do, or you must do 12 credit points of elective units. And those electives come from outside of criminology. We tend to have a lot of people doing electives in history or a double major in history, politics, international relations, Basically any area within the Faculty of Arts and Education, you can comprise a double major or, or um, 12 credit points of additional electives. And what that does is it shows the criminology intersects with these other disciplines. And it also gives you a well-rounded arts educational experience. So the total of 24 credit points is 12 criminology units and 12 electives from anywhere outside of criminology within the Faculty of Arts. 
Now, courses and prerequisites for school leavers require VCE units three and four, and a study score of at least 20 in English other than EAL, or 25 in English EAL. And within this, for the Bachelor of Criminology, which is three years full-time, you have an ATAR of 60.10 at Burwood, and 55.65 at Geelong, and 55.6 at the Cloud. Now, if you would like to do a, or apply for a combined degree in criminology and law, that's a five-year course, and the ATAR generally follows the other degree. So the ATAR is higher for Bachelor of Criminology and Law. It goes up to 91.1 .1 in Burwood, 85.7 at the waterfront in Geelong, and you split your classes between the waterfront and Warren Ponds. Um, and there's no uh, provision for, um, for studying that degree in the cloud. You can do combined forensic science and Bachelor of Criminology, which is at Warren Ponds only, and that has an ATAR of 65.35, and that's four years full time. There's also the Bachelor of Criminology, Bachelor of Cybersecurity, which is four years full time, with an ATAR of 61.3 at Burwood and 63.35 at Warren Ponds. And finally, a Bachelor of Criminology, Bachelor of Psychological Science, which is four years full time and an ATAR of 60 at Burwood and 57.8 at Geelong and 59.1 in the cloud. So they're the, the courses and prerequisites for school leavers. A Bachelor of Criminology prerequisites for non-school leavers, there's two pathways here. Entry for applicants with recent secondary education in the previous three years is based on performance in a senior secondary certificate of education with prerequisite units three and four and a study score of at least 25 in English EAL or 20 in English other than EAL. If you're an applicant with previous tertiary, VET, life or work experience, it is based on performance in your certificate four in a related discipline with criminal justice or criminology, a diploma in any discipline or 50% completion of a diploma in a related discipline, or successful completion of relevant study in an accredited higher education institution equivalent to at least two Deakin University units. So that's if you're transferring from another university or other evidence of academic capability judged to be equivalent, for example, work relevant work or life experience. And that's determined at the time that you apply. Now, some key focus areas in criminology include the social and individual causes of crime. So we look at both social forces that might contribute to criminal activity and individual forces such as psychological or, or potentially biological impairments. We also look at historical dimensions in understanding and responding to crime. So in other words, where we are today is often based on where we've been historically. We also look at the nature of crime as both overt and hidden. So certain forms of criminality are highly visible, such as street crime, whereas violence in the home is traditionally seen as an invisible crime and has been dealt with poorly by the criminal justice system. So we examine those issues too. Certain forms of cybercrime are often very hidden. So this overt hidden distinction becomes very important. We also look at how best to utilise the criminal law and police resources. And we also look at things like accountability for justice actors and organisations. And then within this, there's also the possibility to study these issues as part of an associate arts degree within a criminology stream. Now, one of the things that distinguishes Deakin from many other um, bachelors of criminology is the work integrated learning processes. And this it, it enables us to, to offer opportunities for travel, to do volunteer work or do internship, internships, which enable you to study and experience global opportunities or make a difference with, with volunteering on a particular project and building your career, career readiness with work experience and industry connections. Our Bachelor of Criminology has two embedded criminology units that, are, are, that deal with industry experience. 
from 2021 ACR 206 Criminology in Action will provide knowledge of domestic and national and international agencies that use criminological skills. So it gives you a survey of the types of agencies that require criminological skills. It explores options for voluntary work and it enables you to start thinking about the material that you learn in theory and how you can apply this in practice in these various contexts. In addition, from 2021, we will also have a unit ACR 306, Careers in Criminal Justice, which is a third year elective unit. And this brings in a range of representatives from key criminal justice organisations onto the campus to speak about careers and career opportunities. And what this does is assist students to create an e-portfolio for future employment. And again, the purpose behind this is to bridge the theoretical and the applied dimensions of your learning. So you're putting your theoretical um, skills into practice through these two units. Before graduating, you can also experience industry with work integrated learning programs. And we've had students involved in a number of work integrated learning programs in the fields of community corrections, health and human services, courts and policing, criminology and security in the private sector, and with government agencies. We also have placement opportunities involved in research projects with, with community legal agencies. So the idea is that over the course of a, a trimester, one of your units in a work integrated learning context becomes work experience. And you work with the people that are delivering services or conducting research. Um, it's supervised from within Deakin and you do assessments that are based on um, Deakin's requirements, but they also incorporate um, requirements for the agency that you're placed with. So you might write a report for the agency, or you might do a, a component of report, a, a component of a larger research report, and so forth. So those work integrated learning opportunities cover these various areas of community corrections, health and human services, and, and so on. And um, they provide some applied experience. So again, the bridging, you're bridging your gap, the gap between the theoretical material that you learn in the classroom and the practical real world experiences of work integrated learning. We also have extensive career development and support initiatives which are designed to empower students to explore a broad range of career options and build skills and experience that are valued by employers and that helps to present yourself confidently and positively to employers. So these include things like career success workshops, career coaching, resume and job application support, jobs and internships, and employer networking events. And all of these are, are part of the services that Deakin University provides, but they are also things that you're entitled to access as a student within Deakin University. And the overall objective is to help build your capacity and marketability to the employment sector. We have graduates who are ready to tackle real criminological issues. And within that, Deakin University provides the number one career service in Australia. And from this, we have a number of our graduates going into various policing functions within the Victoria Police and, the, the, at, and at federal level. We also have a number of Deakin graduates that have worked in interstate policing organisations as well. So the skills that you learn within Victoria are marketable elsewhere. We also have many students working in government departments, such as the Department of Justice, Department of Transport, Border Protection, National Security, International Relations and Defence. We have a number of students who work in intelligence agencies, such as the Australian Criminal Intelligence Commission. We have students that also work in oversight bodies, such as anti-corruption commissions. Courts and administration um, are a common area of employment, um, particularly in the administrative fields or in the research fields. Community corrections and prisons, crime prevention, community safety and policy development at both local, state and national level and within the private sector. We have students that are working within the private security fields of risk consulting, research, analysis, personnel and management. 
And finally, uh, it's possible to get work in the community legal sector or with not-for-profit organisations. Deakin has many industry partners, include the Australian uh, Department of Home Affairs, which is based in Canberra, the Victoria Police, the Australian Red Cross, Barwon Centre Against Sexual Assault, the Australian Federal Police, VACRO, which is the Victorian Association for the Care and Resettlement of Offenders, uh, the Transport Accident Commission, Department of Justice and Regulation in Victoria, and the Australian Government Taxation Office. So these industry partners help to shore up the possibility of doing internships. And again, it links very closely back into our unit offerings um, so that we're, we're providing dedicated education that has marketability within the workplace. V is a, a former Bachelor of Criminology and Psychological Science student. And she states that the content we are learning cover more areas than I predicted. Every unit seems fresh, new content that somehow seems to link back to past units and between each of my study areas. I feel there is always more to learn and I don't feel overwhelmed at the level of content we need to go through each trimester. And we've got Josh who is majoring in criminology. I've always been interested in the law and the Australian legal system. Criminology at Deakin allowed me to gain an insight into what drives crime, what prevention options there are, and how crime impacts our life. Now, when you're applying to Deakin, school leavers apply through VTAC, and that covers current year 12 students, um, and you apply through vtac.edu.au and non-school leavers apply directly to Deakin. All other applications can be submitted directly to the university through deakin.edu.au apply. And that covers if you're transferring from another university or you've got prior life experience or you, you've done um, a certificate at, um, at VET and you're seeking to go into higher education. And within that, the people um, who deal with your application will help um, help you to work out which prerequisites you have and whether you can get credit for prior learning as well. Thank you for joining us. There'll, uh, there'll be questions and answers sessions at 1 p.m. Um, on the open days that have been scheduled and live chat available during those question and answer sessions. You can also download the Criminology Flyer and attend our virtual campus tour. So I thank you for your time I, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in some capacity once you apply for a Bachelor of Criminology at Deakin University. So thanks very much for your attention and good luck with your studies and future endeavours.